Ladies and gentlemen, so when you guys take this quiz that's going to be coming up next class period, one of the things that you guys will notice is giving me the answer is not what I am looking for. I do not care about the answer, correct answer. I care about the process of you working through it. So just writing in odd or even and just making a stab at, at it, because you really have you know one third of a chance of getting it right, is not going to count worth any points. Showing me the steps and the work will definitely work. Okay. So you're not going to have a calculator. So just looking at the graph and saying, hey, it's even odd or neither, it's not going to work. You are going to have to show me that you can identify. And the first thing you're going to want to show me is I can evaluate this function for f of negative x. So when you replace, and again, notice, notice how I'm using parentheses to represent that I'm inserting in a, um, inserting in a value into my um, function. And this is really important because people, again, this is where the mistakes happen. People don't use parentheses, and they don't put in a minus a negative x, because that really turns into a positive x, right? So anyways, when we go and take a look at this, we have negative x square root of negative 1 half x plus x. Would you guys agree? Yes? OK. Now, is that taking me back to my original function? Okay, so let's check to see if that is the opposite of the function. Now here again, we have to be really careful. When we're multiplying our function, we need to remember what the operations are with um, square roots. And this is where I actually forgot to mention. Can we take a number outside of a radical when it's not having and multiply it inside of a radical? No, you can't do that. You can't take like 2 square root of 4 and say that's equal to the square root of 8. No, square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4, right? It's not equal to square root of 8. So you can't multiply a number outside a radical, inside a radical. So therefore, when you're taking this, when you have this inside here, what we, um, oh wait, sorry. Yeah, okay. Why did I forget to write my powers? There we go. Here, when I multiply this out, I just get negative. The only thing I can multiply is by the negative x. So is it the same thing as is it the same thing as what I have there? Is it the same thing that I had? Is it the same? Is this the same as your um, opposite of f of x or your f of negative x? No. So it's not the exact. So when you did, here's f of negative x. It's not the exact same, right? It's not the exact same as the original function. So it's not even. Is it the exact same as the opposite of f of x? No. So it's not odd. So this is actually an example of neither. I should have worked it out before I winked at you, but it's actually a neither function. Now, if you